This is an introduction of Intromedic's MyroCam Capsule Endoscope. MyroCam Capsule Endoscope uses human body communication method, which results in significant advantages like longest operation hours, highest frame rate, and high quality images. MyroCam captures high resolution color pictures throughout the GI tract for more efficient and effective diagnostic view of the small bowel. In 2000, animal experiments were performed using MyroCam capsule endoscope. By 2004, Intromedic was established and selected as a top 10 R&D achievement in science and technology. KGMP was passed in 2006, in addition to the ISO 13485 certification, which completed requirements for manufacturing and Korean Food and Drug Administration related items, opening the Korean market. The CE marking was also received, enabling exports to various countries. MyroCam is the only capsule utilizing human body communication for transmission of the images from the capsule to the receiver. The MyroCam capsule captures very high quality images and with the longest operation time and more images per second, the capsule offers the most comprehensive diagnostic view of the entire small bowel. The MyroCam receiver is easy to use, lightweight and comfortable for the patient to wear. Data is readily uploaded from the receiver to the software for review. The MyroView software is user-friendly with a number of time-saving features to ensure a quick and effective diagnostic review of the patient file. The capsule endoscopy procedure enables painless and non-invasive observation of the entire small bowel. Capsule Endoscope Procedure Overview Patient Preparation Patient should be provided with preparation information at least one week in advance of the procedure. Do not take iron supplements one week prior and no medications two hours prior to ingesting the capsule. Diabetic patients should consult with physicians to adjust insulin medication. Do not eat or drink such as milk, juice, etc. 12 hours prior to the procedure. Only water may be ingested during this period. Abstain from smoking 12 hours prior to the procedure. Physicians are recommended to prescribe a laxative preparation, such as PEG or sodium phosphate, to be taken the evening prior to the procedure. Patient should wear comfortable two-piece clothing. Patient administration. Confirm patient has followed the preparation accordingly and begin the administration procedure. Nurse or medical practitioner should turn on the computer, start MyRoView and log in. Connect the receiver to the computer via the USB cable. Make sure the receiver is turned on. After clicking the receiver button, click Initialize. After initialization, enter the patient data. Complete all required fields. If all required fields are not entered, the patient data cannot be saved. Capsule serial number must be entered. The serial number can be found on the back of the capsule packaging. After entering the patient data, click the Save button. Disconnect the USB cable from the receiver. Attach fully charged battery to the receiver. Sensor pad placement. Describe where the sensor pads will be attached on the patient. Open the bag of sensor pads and attach the data cables prior to affixing to the patient. Patient may need to be shaved as required. Attach sensor pads according to the color and number and on the data cables as follows. To attach pad number one, 
locate the center between the umbilical and the xiphoid process. From this center point, attach the sensor to the distal point on the right flank of the patient's body. To attach pad number two, place the sensor pad on the xiphoid process line, directly below the midpoint of the right clavicle. To attach pad number three, place the sensor pad on the xiphoid process line, directly below the midpoint of the left clavicle. To attach pad number four, locate the center between the umbilical and the xiphoid process. From this center point, attach the sensor to the distal point on the left flank of the patient's body. To attach pad number five, place the sensor pad on the right pelvic line, two centimeters behind sensor number one. To attach pad number six, place the sensor on the right inguinal line two centimeters to the outside of sensor number two. To attach pad number seven, place the sensor on the right inguinal line two centimeters to the outside of sensor number three. To attach pad number eight, place the sensor pad on the right pelvic line two centimeters behind sensor number four. To attach pad number nine, place the sensor directly below the right clavicle. The numbering of the data cables and sensor pad must match the specified area. After attaching the sensor pads, have the patient sit up and connect the data cable to the receiver. Turn on the receiver and check the battery indicator. The SIG icon should be orange, and the INI and BAT icon should be green. If the INI icon is orange, the receiver needs to be initialized. If the BAT icon is orange, the battery needs to be charged. Open the capsule packaging and take the capsule out of the case by the opaque plastic capsule holder. Check to see if the capsule light is flashing. Instruct the patient to hold the capsule by the gold bands between the forefinger and thumb of both hands. After patient grasps the capsule, check if the signal indicator on the receiver is green. Ensure the indicator is green prior to ingesting the capsule. Ingest the capsule with water. Place the receiver in the receiver bag and adjust the straps to ensure the patient is comfortable. Place the excess cables in the cable bag. After completing ingesting the capsule, the patient should be informed what to do during the procedure as follows. Patient should drink at least 250 milliliters of water every hour during the procedure beginning from the first hour. After four hours, the patient can start with light food. Do not exercise or lift heavy items. Daily activities, aside from strenuous activity, is permitted. Patient must avoid MRI rooms at the hospital. Do not use an electronic blanket or electric heating pads. Use of computers, radios, audio sets, and cell phones are allowed. Do not come in direct contact with other patients who are undergoing the capsule endoscope procedure. Do not touch or remove the parts of a receiver, data cables, or sensor pads. Patient may loosen the bag, but the receiver pack should not be taken off. After 12 hours from the start of the procedure, the patient can remove the receiver. Uploading Images Patient should return the receiver to the hospital. The patient should be instructed not to undergo MRI examinations within 30 days after the procedure. The capsule will naturally be excreted from the patient's body within 24 hours. There is no need for concern after the capsule is excreted and the light is still flashing. On the day after the test, if recommended by the physician, the patient may receive an abdominal x-ray examination to check the capsule's location. The receiver should then be connected to the computer and the data files should be uploaded for observation. Take the receiver unit out from the receiver bag. Detach the data cable from the receiver. After detaching the battery from the receiver, place the battery in the charger. Battery must be recharged after every procedure. Battery charging will take approximately four hours. After turning on the computer, start MyroView and log in. Connect the receiver to the computer via the USB cable. The receiver unit's power must be turned on. In MyroView, click on the receiver icon and the receiver window will appear. Click the Upload button and when the progress bar is full and the complete message appears, the upload is complete. 
MyroCam capsule endoscope is a fast and accurate way to observe diseases of the small bowel.